Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing the sweat challenge workout. For a little information about what the sweat challenge is, you can go to my first video, which I'll either have linked up here or down below, and it just describes what it is. Today we're going to be doing the power at home challenge. We're in week one, and I'm going to be doing lower body. So it's gonna be super fun, but I am like starving right now. And this is the predicament I have like every day after work when I'm hungry. My dog needs out. Wait. But this is the predicament I have like every day after work. I'm starving, but I need to work out. But if I eat dinner and then work out, I'm gonna like feel gross and not be able to get a good workout in. But if I work out starved, it's never a good workout for me. So I either have to like eat dinner and then wait and then work out, which sometimes then I lose motivation or I need to eat a little snack. So today I'm choosing to eat a little snack and I'm choosing to eat. I'm gonna have some protein powder. I use J-Rob. I either do the vanilla or chocolate. Right now I have vanilla, whey, protein, isolate. Isolate, isolate. It has like really good macros from the research I've done. And I really like it. I think it tastes really good. I've been using this protein powder for like a couple years now probably. And I honestly don't really like hear anyone else talk about it, so. I don't know, but I think it's really good. I recommend it. My dog needs back out, or back in. Come on in. Good boy. So I'm gonna do a little blender bottle of that. I'm just gonna put water, 12 ounces, and then a scoop of the protein powder. And then just something a little more filling, but not super filling. I'm just gonna have some Triscuits and some Laughing Cow. It's not like the best snack in the world, not the worst snack in the world. I think it's yummy. I did not like Triscuits until this year actually, and now I eat them like every single day. It's like kind of a problem. So I'm gonna eat some Triscuits, little thing of Laughing Cow cheese with it, make my protein shake, and then start the workout. It's also getting dark outside, even though it's only 5.30 because you know, winter. So my basement isn't gonna be as light as it is when I film during the day, but hopefully the lighting will still be pretty decent. So yeah, let's eat my food and then I'll be back for the workout. Do you want to go to the basement? You want to go work out? Let's do it. Yes! Yes! Come on! Yes! 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 Okay. Hi! Go Brutus! Go Brutus! Go Brutus! Oh my goodness. Oh, you're so pretty! Yeah. As always, we will begin with three minutes of cardio, then some movement exercises to get warmed up. Today, I started on my bike, but then my dog was staring at me, so I decided to chase him around my basement for a little as my cardio, then finish it off with a little bit of biking. Always be sure to stretch before and after your workout so that you are less likely to injure yourself and so that you aren't as sore. in activation one is 12 reps of double pulse squats. You can do this with or without a resistance band. Begin by standing with your feet shoulder width apart. 
Bend your knees and hips in order to squat down until your upper legs are parallel with the floor, making sure that your knees don't go past your toes and that your back remains within a 45 to 90 degree angle to your hips. My chest is a little too far forward when I squat, which I am working on. Next, do a pulse by beginning to straighten your legs, then we're turning back down to the squat position, then straighten your legs fully to return to the starting position. When you do this, make sure your weight is in your heels, your toes should be able to lift off of the ground easily. Also, be sure to squeeze your butt while standing up in order to fully feel the exercise. Repeat for the 12 reps. Next up are 20 reps, 10 per side of reverse lunge and knee ups. Begin by standing with your feet shoulder width apart. Take a big step backwards with your right foot and as it lands on the ground, bend both of your knees to be about 90 degrees. Make sure that you keep your weight evenly distributed between both of your legs, that your front knee is aligned with your ankle, and that your back knee is hovering above the floor. Next, put your weight into the front left foot and swing your right leg up while bending your knee and bringing your knee up towards your chest. Swing it back down behind your body to repeat the lunge without touching your foot to the ground. Repeat for 10 reps, then switch legs and do 10 reps on the other foot. So for this activation circuit, we will be repeating these two workouts without any rests for four minutes. Between each circuit, we will be resting for 30 seconds. So look at the exercises that are coming up, take a drink of water, relax a little. All right, our first workout in this activation circuit is 40 reps, 20 per side of glute kickback pulses. Start on all fours with your shoulders above your elbows, your butt above your knees, and a flat back. Straighten your right leg back behind your body so that it is in line with your spine while keeping your left leg and your hands on the ground. Be sure to point your toes and keep your leg tight and straight. Using your hips, slowly lower your leg below your spine, then raise it slightly above your spine. Do this pulse for five reps or for the full 20 reps, then lower your leg back down so you're on all fours. Repeat this with your opposite leg for the 20 reps. Next up are 40 reps, 20 per side of high knees. Stand up and put your weight on your right foot while bending your left leg and bringing your left knee up towards your chest. Then lower your left leg and bring your right knee up towards your chest while putting your weight on your left foot. Slowly increase your speed and repeat. This is the same as our first activation circuit. We will be repeating these two workouts without any rests for four minutes. First up are 24 reps, 12 per side of alternating lunges. An alternate exercise for this are jump lunges. Start standing with your feet shoulder width apart. Take a step forward with your left foot. When it lands on the ground, bend both of your knees to be about 90 degrees. Make sure that your weight is evenly distributed between both legs. Your front knee should be in line with your ankle and your back knee should hover just off the floor. Transfer your weight onto your right foot while standing back up. Repeat this with your right foot, alternate and repeat for the 24 total reps. Next up are glute bridge and openings. My dog is being very needy right now, so I'm just gonna let you guys see his cuteness and then I will describe how to do this exercise. Our next 
exercise is 20 reps of glute bridge and opening. You can do this using a resistance band or not. Either way is totally fine. Start by laying on your back with your legs bent, your feet hip width apart, and your spine in a neutral position. Lay your arms on either side of you on the floor. Press your heels into the floor, squeeze your butt, and raise your hips up off the floor until your body is in a straight line from chin to knees, keeping your shoulders on the floor. Be sure to squeeze and tuck your butt under slightly and don't arch your back. While your hips are raised, open your knees out so they're wider than your hips, then close them back to hip width apart. Lower your back down to the floor slowly until your hips touch the ground. Repeat for the 20 reps. So for the superset, you will repeat the two exercises for three laps with a 30 second rest between each lap. If you are wanting to do the jump lunges, begin in the same starting position as the lunge. Instead of stepping forward, bend your knees slightly, jump, and land in a split stance with one leg in front of the other. Keep your feet shoulder width apart and immediately bend your knees to be about 90 degrees. Straighten your legs and while you are in the air, switch your legs and land in the split stance with your opposite leg forward. Alternate and repeat for the 24 total reps. Our first exercise in this superset is 12 reps of jump squats. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Bend your knees and hips while making sure your knees do not go past your toes. Bend until your upper legs are parallel with the floor and keep your back within 45 to 90 degrees of your hips. Push through your heels and jump into the air while straightening your legs and squeezing your butt. Land in the starting position and go right back into the squat. Be sure to land with slightly bent knees so that you don't hurt yourself. Repeat this for 12 reps. Our next exercise is 24 reps, 12 per side of single leg Romanian deadlifts. You can do this while holding a dumbbell in your hands like I'm doing, or you can do it without any weight. Either way is totally fine. This exercise works a lot on your balance, so if you're a beginner, then I highly recommend starting with no weight. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Bend your left leg slightly so that you don't lock it and injure yourself while doing this exercise. Hinge at your hips and lift your right leg back straight. Make sure to keep your head, chest, core, and right leg in a straight line and hinge until you are parallel to the ground. Extend your arms toward the floor. You should feel this in your left hamstring, which is in the back of your leg. Push through your left heel and using your glute and hamstrings, unhinge your hips until you are in a starting position. Do 12 reps, then switch and do 12 reps on your opposite leg. Same as the first superset, you will repeat the two exercises for three laps with a 30 second rest between each lap. our final circuit. We will be doing three exercises for three laps. Do each exercise for 50 seconds with a 10 second rest between. 
After you finish the three exercises, rest for 30 seconds before repeating for two more laps. All right, so it happened again that my, oh, this is a horrible angle of me, that my camera stopped recording when I was in the middle of working out. So I just realized it. Hopefully we didn't miss too much. I really need to pay more attention to my camera. I'm just so into the workout, you know? But we're gonna keep going. We're on the final circuit. Um, we've done some lateral lunges and we're on the second round. So I'm very sweaty and out of breath. Let's keep going. Next up is a squat hold. Begin by standing with your feet shoulder width apart. Bend your knees and hips in order to squat down until your upper legs are parallel with the floor, making sure that your knees don't go past your toes and that your back remains within a 45 to 90 degree angle to your hips. Hold this position for the entire 50 seconds. And yes, my chest is too far forward during the squat hold. Our last exercise in this circuit are half burpees. Begin in a push-up position with your shoulders above your hands. Jump both of your feet forward so they land near your shoulders. Keep your hands on the ground and jump your feet back into push-up position. Repeat for the 50 seconds. First up are lateral lunges. Begin by standing with your feet shoulder width apart. Keep your right foot on the floor while taking a big step to the left with your left foot. When you place your left foot on the ground, bend your left knee while keeping your right leg straight. Push back up through your left leg and put your weight onto your right foot. Step your left foot in until you are in your standing position. Alternate between sides and repeat for the 50 seconds. Be sure to keep your chest up as much as you can, your knees back behind your toes when lunging, and lunge until your upper leg is parallel to the ground. Alright, so it looks like my camera missed the entire first lap of this circuit and a little bit of the second lap so i'm so sorry if that was confusing but I'm just gonna finish up this last lap and we'll be all done with the circuit <laughs> to our optional burnout. Today's burnout exercises consist of two exercises for one minute straight and a 30 second rest in between the exercises. Our first exercise is double pulse sumo squats. This is exactly the same as the regular squat pulses except that your feet should be further than shoulder width apart with your toes pointed slightly outward and you will continue with the squat pulses all in a row instead of standing up between each one. Our last exercise is mountain climbers. Start in a push-up position, bend one of your knees while keeping the other one straight. Bring your bent knee up towards your chest and straighten it back to the push-up position. Switch and bring your other knee up towards your chest, then straighten it. Alternate knees and repeat for the entire minute. All right, and we are all done with our workout for today. Now we're just going to stretch it out. It says optional, but I highly recommend always stretching at the end of your exercise in order to decrease the chance of injury and to decrease your soreness.
All right, guys, that was the whole workout by Brutus. And it was just a rough one. Like, I had to take some breaks, and my dog interrupted me, like, a lot. So just remember that, you know, any effort you put in to work out is worth it, unless you're doing, like, poor form where you could hurt yourself. But as long as you're, like, getting out there and trying and working, then that's all that matters. So push yourself, but don't way over push yourself that you're going to be so so sore the next day that you're not going to want to work out again i know i'm definitely still sore from my upper body day yesterday so just make sure when you're doing your workouts try to plan it out so that you don't have two upper body days or two lower body days in a row because that would be rough which that may be pretty obvious but hope you enjoyed it let me know if you try it out down below let me know if you're doing the sweat challenge so we can push each other and don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, and turn on the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post. I will be posting more workout videos, some easy healthy meals slash meal prep videos, sustainability, just overall healthy living. I live a decently healthy, balanced, happy life, and I want you to as well. All right, guys, see you in my next video. Bye.